What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. Well, it looks like we got the rebuttal now. The response to the response from Knox Hill, and this is Stalker Screwface John Dis. Now, hey, I just reacted, if you haven't, right? I just reacted to Screwface John's like response to the Not Like Us from Knox Hill, and he did his spin on that and such. So, hey, <laughs> apparently he calling Screw a stalker and such, where, hey, I don't look. And look, judging by how the thumbnail look, where this nigga look like a freak, where he probably saying school look crazy and such, that he's talking artists and such, <laughs> he following niggas and such, and I don't mean like on Instagram or anything, I mean like actually following these niggas, that's what he's acclaiming, so hey, we gonna look, we gonna it's just, like I said in one of my reactions, it's just crazy that nigga. We have we have YouTube beef, we have YouTube reactor beef and such. In 2024, we haven't seen this. We haven't seen shit like this in over five years, nigga. <laughs> it's been five years since we've seen like reactor beef and such. So hey, either way, we up for it. So we better check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And hey, let's get into this. On today's episode of Cornhusker TV. We call you with hype and bossing best up here, bro. You better call your opinion as a cat. You think Tom McDonald goes hard, dude. Uh. I got the one and only Mr. Tom McDonald himself. Now, screw. Because I remember this. Screw. You talking about how you thought Tom McDonald was fire? Nigga, already he debunked. Already he debunked you with you saying about how if you think Tom McDonald is fire, uh what's this nigga? You had a re you literally doing that interview I, and I remember him doing that interview too. Already debunked you on that part. I got the one and only Mr. Tom McDonald himself. Hell of a game in the building. Uh, <laughs> Already did you here, on uh, this. With the with the common folk like me and just, you know, having a having a little conversation and stuff. And I didn't think it was gonna be taken the way it was taken, but I got a wave of your people coming in like, oh, he just why would you do that? It was hard, it was hard, it was hard. It was crazy, so I just wanted everybody to know that we cool, we good, because the lyrics are literally on the bottom of the screen and everything, where it's like, I'm clearly shouting you out. I had done, when I did my reaction about I'm not black, that's what I respect the most, and it's funny, uh, I'm glad I get to tell you this while the camera's rolling, so when you came out and you said, like, what you said, and from your point of view, that's why I literally said the messenger is important. Hangover Gang.com if you want that autograph album. Yeah. Hmm. I want to see how Screw going to spin this one. Hmm? I want to see how when he rebuttals to this one. I want to see how Screw going to spin this one. Because hmm? in the in your own when they were spinning and such about how you and Steve and I were supposed to knuckle up and all that you were saying about you show what you really said and such right how you gonna edit phone shut up phone shut up hold on screw how you gonna s how how you gonna edit di how you gonna rebuttal this one and such saying about how if you think Tom McDonald is fire uh, how you gonna rebuttal this one autograph album yeah that's all I'm saying Going outside, screw. Not again. Okay, Daryl, this is now therapy this. session 101. It is now 8. Let's continue our last discussion. Tell me about those insecurities you've been having. I don't understand. I had it all set up. It was all formulated. I baited him. I set the trap. I had this snare ready to go. The line. 
advice that he said who's feeding him information I hope he doesn't know about that one Nero I'm not even going to talk about it Wait, how can he even drop that fast and he's rebuttaling what I'm saying who told him I was coming he's gotta know something hey yo no diddy I am not a stalker oh dear they fear me but I'm just talking but if you brought them shells I got slugs if you salty like salties mm. send them crackers to the crib I used to follow him around send them crackers to the crib shout out to crib and such the one of the other reactors cuz because I remember they because honestly I searched this up on the internet and such and I see about how screw and crib because they used to have a joint album together called script script yeah it was like that and I don't want to know where and look all I know is look y'all let me know cuz I remember them doing a collab album together back in 2019 and such so hey, you let me know of the details. Talker. Oh dear, they fear me, but I'm just talking. But if you brought them shells, I got slugs if you salty okay. like saltings. Send them crackers to the crib. I used to follow him around. Showing up on wanted, I was following the sounds. How he moved with his music, taking notes, acting like I was amused, share his views. Now I'm really sharing notes, you know, mm. gone. Sharing views. Like views and YouTube views, but views as in my point of view. Okay. Taking notes, acting like I was amused. Share his views, now I'm really sharing notes. You know, gone to the smoke, then it's on to the next one. You gone, gone. In and out of hope. Should you remember that video I wasn't even in? Yo, a dissing mumble rap, I saw the trend. Rode around all day in the van, you shooting in. I said it was dope, I saw a blow, but when the blowback happened, turned around, start reacting, started laughing at my friends like it's funny how I'm rapping, dissing them. Was it shady? I don't know. But shout out my boy Easy, I saw him making meals and I. Mm, easy meal, cuz Screw did make a shoot. Screw was bigging up Easy Meal too and such with the whole village boy thing and all that. And also shout out to my Philippines out there too as well. Around, start reacting, started laughing at my friends like it's funny how I'm rapping this and them. Was it shady? I don't know. No. But shout out my boy Easy. I saw him making meals and I thought to get a piece easy. Hit him up and paid the price for the feature, so a homies. But when it came time for the video, he's acting like he doesn't know me. Now nah, fuck that. I know I paid for the audio. But I'ma make him own me I got a hold of his zip code Rolling on his home See I know that there's some lines That an artist shouldn't cross But who knows I'm trying to grow I've been starving Swear to God Cause Cause really think about it When Screw was saying about how What was it In the Euphoria remix and such At the end of that and such He was talking about Drop the Addy and such Cause It's supposed to Cause one thing when it comes to like Rap beef it's supposed to stay in the realm of rap beef. But once you cross a certain line and such in it, it's far beyond rapping now. Far beyond that now. <laughs> right? So, hey. Always acting like he doesn't know me. Now, nah, fuck that. I know I paid for the audio, but I'm gonna make him owe me. I got a hold of a zip code uh -huh. rolling on his home. See, I know that there's some lines that an artist shouldn't cross, cross, but who knows? I'm trying to grow. I've been starving, swear to God. So I pull a Hail Mary and mm. I touch down on him, swell. Mm. A nice little reference back to his songs and such Hail Mary and Touchdown. Mm, okay. This love is sweat of God. Go back to so his song. Full of Hail Mary and I touch down, down on him, so I'm harmless. He opens up the door, steps back, he's all astonished. I know we never talked about it, but I told him that he promised. I'm like, yo, let's get this bitch out. I brought my cameraman, I know this shit's hot. But then this bitch manager shows up and he starts to shit talk. Starts calling me a stalker, please. I'm like, bitch, stop. But I paid so much money, even gave him all that publishing. I'm desperate to be seen in public with him. So I run around and even though he looks uncomfortable oh so he, oh so I see what he's doing because I remember a particular video uh, like vlogging such where screw and easy meal was making like with the making of what was it ratchet ratchet righteous and ratchet so yeah oh so he's telling the viewpoints of screw and such okay okay I see it he so basically sh making it Making we see through Screwface John's lens and such about how it is in his mind. Okay. 
that he promised I'm like, yo, let's get this bitch out I brought my cameraman, I know this shit's hot But then this bitch manager just shows up And he starts to shit talk Starts calling me a stalker, please I'm like, bitch, stop But I paid so much money, even gave him all that publishing I'm desperate to be seen in public with him So I run around and vlog it Even though he looks uncomfortable Absolutely. And I'm just trying to get the bills They sleeping on his huckstable In this room, he's getting lit to push through all the awkwardness I'm like, yo, let's get this vlog and play the song And say we going off on this Take advantage of these nice guys, I'm used to it, abusing them I gotta show that it's true and I ain't really using them, screw with them But as long as it's fans, they were cool, then I'm spinning Click, click, for them clicks, it ain't real, but I'm Click, clicks, hold on, oh, hold on Hey, one thing with Knox, if he, cause like I'm saying, with screw, he was, besides from the, before the his response to the not the not like us one his response he was he was mostly like flexing and such right and then mostly making it about a race and all that like bro i get it that most i get it where when it comes to rap beefs and such there's no rules and such you can do whatever you want to do it but come on now i feel like there should be some rules and such some rules that's just how i look at it right and i know y'all gonna say, no most of y'all probably gonna say what you mean when it comes to a rap beef there's no rules so if so like so if, if with that type of knowledge right now say if he were to cross the line like he just said that there's a line that a certain that artist that an artist shouldn't cross saying if they cross the line now where they mention something that's personal to you, where in this case family and such, where and it goes up to a point where it's too much of a sensitive point. And even though I get it where it's supposed to be rules and such, now what if they take it so too far now in a disrespectful way where nigga at this point, fuck this being about rap beef, we gotta see them hands. And there was the f and he was the first person who started it. Don't you think? Don't you think it's justifiable? Like justify I me? Mean? Cause I get it that it's supposed to stay in the realm of rat beef and such, but if they make it be too personal and such, then a nigga. When at this point you don't even care about this being about rat beef. This is real. Per this is up close and personal and such. That's how I look at it. I could be wrong, but hey, that's how my point of, that's how my sense of it is to me. In this room, he's getting lit to push through all the awkwardness. I'm like, yo, let's get this vlog and play the song and say we going off on this. Take advantage of these nice guys. I'm used to it, abusing them. I gotta show that it's true and I ain't really using them. Screw with them. But as long as it's fans, they were cool, then I'm sp Fans cool, like, fans like the many like his subscribers and such but fans isn't cool like blowing like you hearing my fan in the background now blowing hot hair blowing cool air I mean sorry and I ain't really using them screw with them but as long as it's fans they were cool then I'm spinning that's click, spinning click for the, the clicks. clicks it ain't real but I'm filming while I keep on grinning I just keep on winning because he was talking about how with that little thing the smirk and such I'm not a stalker right and this motherfucker, Screwface, right? he just right. decided he was gonna pop up. Right. Just pop up out of the blue, in the house, right? Nobody knew about it. He, he asked for the address, I guess, and, and he got it. <laughs> and then one day, he was just at the house. Is he trying to imitate Easy Mail? What the hell? <laughs> this nigga trying to imitate. So he really think, so he really saying that school like pops up out of nowhere. Hear no e I hear no evil. Well, I am hearing it, but I don't see no evil. I don't see no evil. So, I know I'm hearing shit, but I ain't saying I hear shit. So, shit. In the house, right? Nobody knew about it. I want to know what's. Because I saw it before in the first one where he put John 844. What is John 108 now? Is oh, my. Hold on, John. 
okay because I know that's probably that's obviously a Bible it has to be a Bible verse so with so the real John won it but then but I like the little play off his name and such because John is the J O H N one and John and such yeah so so the Bible verse is if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Hmm. So I'm basically meaning about how, and I'm looking, look, you think I'm, I'm doing this live. So basically we're speaking truth also means that we don't have the cap, the capacity, the capacity to cleanse ourselves from sin or cleanse others from their sins. Hmm. <laughs> so that's what that means. Look, and for all y'all probably going to say about, how did you not know that, nigga? Don't get at me, okay? Hush your mouth. Leave me, leave me alone and don't say shit. <laughs> then I pop up. Just pop up out of the blue in the house, right? Nobody knew about it. He, he asked for the address, I guess, and, and he got it. <clears throat> and then one day, he was just at the house. You know what I mean? Just pop up out of the way. After I told him. To stop contacting him directly, he went. He went directly to him again, and and now he showed up at the house. And now he was telling this artist that he wants to shoot a music video for Righteous and Ratchet. What what was I supposed to do? I am not a stalker. I'm a friend who cares. I keep on messaging you easy, but you're never there. I know we barely hung, and I forced that, but I swear I care. But look at this clown Stevie with his air and flares. How dare that he critique you, my dog? I swear I'm rolling there. And trust me, basically that's how school was when with the whole entire thing that happened with Easy Mail on that freestyle taking shots. Cause at the time I didn't know who he was taking shots at, but throughout when I was reacting to that video and I saw my comments, everybody was saying it was like they were saying it was at a few other people, but majority it was at majority of was saying it was at Stevie Knight. So then Stevie Knight saw that, reacted to that. And talked about it, but then he also saw that Screw reacted to that, going crazy, saying, "Now nah, who we riding on and all that and such and doing all this and whatnot." And in a way, Screw is basically like this. Screw has this type of mentality where, if anyhow, when a certain artist that he rocks with and he in a way talks to them and such. And when they're talking in his language and such, spicy and whatnot, before he actually learns to meet, right? Now, this is not trying to insult him, but before he actually learns about what was going on with the artist and such, about why he going spicy at somebody, sorry, he tends to just straight up start going crazy and such, like saying, no, and then gonna call Steve, Stevie Knight a coon. A coon tuber and such, coon tubers and whatnot. Like, come on now, really, coon tuber. For a guy who says about loving his blackness and all that, why are you gonna call another black guy a coon? Like, it don't make sense. You supposed to love your. You talking about and hell, you gonna expose freaking no life shack and such on that video where. Adam Cahoon was saying nigga ass nigga but when you if you go watch Scoop I mean No Life Shaq's reaction to Scoofy's John's song and such where he debunks that where he was mostly talking about his his part of where he grew up and such he wasn't saying the entire he didn't say the entirety of black people he only talked about his majority where he lived and such in South Carolina Shout out to South Carolina as well. He was talking about his part where he grew up and such. He wasn't saying the entire black people and such. So sometimes you got to look at, you can't just only look at one particular part and such. 
you got it and it's kind of crazy where i'm even watching his own brothers queso big dipper reacting to only half of it only reacting to only his parts and such and not reacting to Knox Hill. kind of seems biased right there like i get it that it's he's your brother and such like your genuine blood blooder and all but if you but if you claim to be a sub a hip-hop fanatic and whatnot right and when it comes to diss tracks shouldn't you be what hearing from both sides because right then and there you seem biased as hell because i even went to go watch a i watched two i watched like a couple of his reactions to screws and one and such definitely seems biased right there because i like i said i get it brother and all but if you claim that you're a hip-hop fanatic or whatnot and such what listen to both sides don't be biased and just only listen to one side and particularly that being your brother and such so in a way kind of seems that you're being unbiased hell even same thing when Monfu did too with when Mo, when screw was beefing with 954 Mari he was only listening to screw side and such telling this artist that he wants to shoot a music video for Righteous and Ratchet. What, what was I supposed to do? I am not a stalker. I'm a friend who cares. I keep on messaging you easy, but you're never there. I know we barely hung and I forced that, but I swear I care. But look at this clown Stevie with his air and flares. How dare that he critique you, my dog. I swear I'm rolling there. You say drama is a formula I'm used to. Let me stir the pot. I'll go record it. Stirring the pot. The stirring the pot. His song for Mari, his song to Mari and such. This song to Mari, I will record it up on YouTube. Up on YouTube, digging in the trash, but I'll go tag him as a <clears throat> too. Don't be afraid. As a <clears throat> too. Calling, cause he was saying about Coon Tube and such. Put it up on YouTube, digging in the trash, but I'll go tag him as a <clears throat> too. Don't be afraid to hit up Screw. You in a fix, you know that I got tools too. But when he fires back, he's about that. Who knew? Maybe I took it too far, so I keep it cool. I know I said I ride for you, but I'm losing views. And I ain't really about that life. I'm just a dude up on YouTube. I know that I'm a village boy and flash my Nigerian roots like I can shoot too. But I was just a kid. I don't remember Lagos, but I'm acting like I... <laughs> Lagos, because screw... Hey, it's... Look, you always know with me, I always rep my country. Jamaica all the way. You always hear me repping it every single time, always talking about it and so. Hell, me just, me can't even switch into my accent if I want to. But most of the times, me know that some of my viewers are actually, are literally from the U.S. Hell, I even, li I'm living in the U.S., so, of course. But if I were to just talk in my patois every single time and so, you're not going to understand what me I say. You're not going to mostly understand what the hell me I say. So that's why I have to speak English and such. I could just, look. That's why for majority of the time when I'm living up in such, yeah, I grew up in Jamaica, where it was, where obviously it's Patois and such, or Patua, we call it. But it's like this, I mostly always speak fluently in English and such. I know we're known for broken English, but I'm mostly flu, I always, you, hell, my family can tell you them they self. I mostly always just speak fluently in the English, like, fluent English like good Eng like standard English you can say but anytime when I'm around my family or any other Jamaicans trust me you see how quick I can switch into my patois like that and it's not to hide it is not to hide my culture or anything I know my culture I don't have to I don't have to always put it out there just to let everybody know I'm Jamaican I know I'm Jamaican through and through and if if you don't think I'm Jamaican cool if you do think I'm Jamaican, alright then. I ain't tripping. But yeah, with school, trust me, he goes crazy when he say Nigerian boys, village boy. I actually get like, I get it, dude. You come from Nigeria, you f this and that and the third, but goddamn, nigga. You don't have to always say it all the time. You don't hear me always saying about my Jamaican culture roots. Cause mo and look, most of the times y'all don't even hear me say it. Y'all should already know. Looks like I can shoot 
too, but I was just a kid. I don't remember Lagos, but I'm acting like I cruise through. I know it helps my cred and all these lines that I shoot through. But I all these lines that I shoot, lines, like lines to know, right? But lines. Back that light. I am not a stalker. I am for the culture. I see his boy Knox. That boy high, but he a vulture. Let me tear him down. That boy high, but he a vulture. Vulture, cause they were flying in the air. The vultures that be in the air. Now they say he's a better rapper and reactor. I'm aware of his crown and throw lies to say he's compromised. Now I spread awareness round, so I keep on throwing subs to catch him in the snare I found. I hit him with the drums like Metro Boomin when I play this. Metro Boomin, boom him. Down. I am not a stalker. I'm just jealous that he's celebrated. Let me find some ways to call him racist. I can paint it. Fuck affiliation. Cause nigga, look, look, y'all, and y'all can even detect some of y'all who are even fans of school. Even y'all can know that. Let's be honest. I love school. Don't get it twisted, right? I love watching his music. I love watching his reactions to not only his music, but also like on his. School face is lit, or it could be like anime or whatnot, or funniness, and on his comedy one that he has. But whenever it comes to the diss parts and such, when it comes to like a diss battle, let's be honest. Nine times out of ten, from the stuff I've always seen over the years, it be on just, especially when it's a ripe white rapper, it be on some. Let me see if he's race on some. On his racist type vibes in a way you can say or saying about how they are cultural vulture whatnot and such but I get but and you know what's so crazy when was with when he was beefing with the likes of Dax and such really think about it when he was beefing with Dax it was most it wasn't mostly on some race type vibes and such right he was dissing him, don't get it twisted. He was dissing him. But when it comes down to how it looks in search of what he was dissing on or what the situation was on, think about it. It wasn't much of race or so. It was what of what antics Dax was doing over the years and such. Some shady types of incidents. Dax is different now, but think about it at that time. It wasn't on no like race type vibe or blackness or whatever. But whenever it's a white rapper and such, hell, even with Mari too, it was on no race type vibe and such. Well, in a little part of it where it was, but majority of it, it wasn't. But whenever it's a white rapper, somehow, somehow, it make within an instant turn it into a white, black and white thing. I'm like, bro. You talking about it's not 2019 anymore, but yet you make, yet you keep on making it be like it's 2019. He's compromised. Now I spread awareness round, so I keep on throwing subs to catch him in the snare I found. I hit him with the drums like Metro Boomer when I play the sound. I am not a stalker. I'm just jealous that he's celebrated. Let me find some ways to call him racist. I can paint it. Fuck affiliations with shady. It's easy. Let me aim it in the scope with y'all. Mm -hmm. How come Paul ain't follow me? When I check in on his pages, then I see Knox face there. I'm so mad. I want. Hold up. Hold up. Rosenberg, Paul Rosenberg follows Knox, okay, and that, and Rosenberg is with M. So hey, I see you. I peep. Shout out to you. Come Paul ain't follow me. When I check in on his pages, then I see Knox face there. I'm so mad I wanna rage quit. Yo, easy, hit me up, G. It should be easy, simple. Tell him follow me, please. Dropping Addy and I'm peeling to the building. Busy, no popping one settlement. I'm from the village, know the pilgrim. I'm not a villain, I'm just hungry for the op. Knock, knock on M's block. I know I love slime shady, but remember, a stalker I am not. I'm not a stalker, stop. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Easy, no. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Yo, easy, hit me up, please. Please. It's like, let's, let's just go to mom's spaghetti or something, man. But I, I need you. That's good to let it out. But I think that's all for today, Daryl. Mm. Until the next time. Damn.
He gonna call him out his first government name until he, he gonna call him out all his real name is crazy. Hey, hey, man. Shit. <laughs> All I can say is, screw. I know you came on your pause. No, Diddy. I know you came with it on your end, but I ain't gonna lie to you, my guy. And I guarantee you. Y'all gonna say, oh, y'all gonna, you probably gonna find a way. In his next reactions on his, like, main YouTube channel, his main channel, after coming off of this, he gonna, I guarantee you, he gonna say about how, oh, I just caught another little body. Ain't nothing new. It's just a little something like that. Knowing damn well, nigga, you lost. <laughs> but look, for me, All I can say is, cool. Just say you don't like white people. Just say that. But the f but look, it's just crazy. But the fact that he's insinuating that he stalked Easy Mill is crazy. But calling him a stalker is crazy as well. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Did who you think who you think won round two? Do you think it was Screw or do you think it was Knox? Cause honestly, I'm I'm looking at other comments and other reactors and such from the ones I've watched. I'm seeing it saying about how Knox two Screw zero. I mean, hey, it is what it is. But look, y'all, let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.